Hey everybody, I know I said that in the very next episode, last time, next stream, that I was going to go uh, right into board layout, moving things around. We're still going to do that. I wanted to do a quick follow-up. This should be very brief on the footprint, footprint creation that we did in the last video and how we ended up getting the perfect footprint for our e-paper display connector. So if you remember in the last episode, we were working on this connector. And as you can see now, it is beautiful. It has the perfectly shaped um, connector pads on the side here for the fixture plate on the connector, as well as this very perfectly shaped and dimensioned uh, silk screen so that it will show up correctly on the board and I just want to show you how I did that I learned something I thought it would be valuable and useful for you to know uh, something in KiCad and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the part I'm going to press E to edit it I'm going to do edit footprint and it's going to bring up the footprint editor now if you remember last time when we were working on this I had just left these footprints out here as big square blobs that were the full dimension and I didn't have the, the silk screen down here. The silk screen was really, that's easy. I'm not going to explain that. You just look at the data sheet, how wide it is, how far down it is, and you draw the lines. It's very simple. Getting these abnormally shaped pads, however, was a different story. And what I had mentioned in the last video, which I want to correct in case you um, thought that that was a way to do it, I had said that you could take this um, polygon tool and kind of create crazy shapes for the pads you know like something like that and then turn it into copper that is definitely not the way you want to do this and so um, let me show you how i ended up doing this it's a little tedious but kind of cool i think keycat will get better with this going forward but completely um, functional enough to get again the exact pad shape that the data sheet prescribes for this connector and let me show you that so before like i said it was just big squares here there was no special shape it was just a, a, a perfect it wasn't a square it was a rectangle because the dimensions were different but what all you have to do is you select the pad uh, i gotta get the right tool here you select the pad you press e to edit and when you first come in here, it'll show the rectangle of the pad that the wizard created for you. And all you do is come up here to custom shape primitives. And from here, you can add primitives. That's what you do. You click add primitive and basically draw points around the pad. You can make the pad any crazy shape you want. Um, when you click on add primitive, it gives you some options. And you can do segment, arc, ring, circle. I selected polygon and I'm going to hit cancel here um, cancel on that when you do polygon you can see I've added one polygon primitive it has eight corners and if I go ahead and select that and hit edit primitive all you do and this this did take some tedious coordinate calculations because these calculations you can't just use the dimensions of every side you have to uh, using this center point right here where the blue lines create the crosshair you have to create a coordinate system of where every point of that shape is but it's not hard math it's just time consuming and so as you can see i created these eight points which make up the exact shape and dimensions of the footprint that the data sheet said that we uh, should use and so once you do that it shows it down here now it did still show it just adds it to the footprint that the wizard creates for you so it still had the full outline if you looked in this view here and all i had to do was come back to general and i just changed the size back to 0 0.25 0 0.25 so like if i change this back to like three millimeters and three millimeters you can see it uh well i guess it's not doing it now i'm not sure why it didn't change anyway when i first did it it still had the original pad from the footprint editor and so i just decreased the size of that to 0 0.25 by 0.25 so it was like in the middle of this and all it left was that custom polygon that i created i'm going to cancel out of this and that was all it took then it it it's perfectly aligned where it needed to be and from that point it just it did the one I went ahead and I copied it, I mirrored it, and I centered it on the other pad over here, and then I deleted the original pad over here, and so it left me 
um, with these two perfectly positioned and shaped pads for our e-paper display connector. Um, oh, I threw it away. A uh, pro tip or a hack that I had mentioned before was to make sure it fit. I just printed out perfect one-to-one -one on a sheet of paper. I grabbed the connector. I placed it down on there, and it fit perfectly. Like, it's beautiful. The pin, uh, the pitch and everything's perfect. These little... Uh, uh, mounting footprints are perfect and so that is the way that you create custom footprint shapes not the crazy polygon uh graphic polygon thing that i was suggesting was perhaps a way to do it definitely don't want to do it that way use the built-in um, keycad mechanism for changing the shape of that footprint and then it, it turned out um really great again it just uh i do not want to save changes discard changes um, like I said, it, this is now perfectly sized and boxed so that we uh, can place it and then move uh, components around it accordingly. So that was, a, a again, a, a tip for changing the footprint on your components in KiCad uh, to make them whatever custom shape you want. You can get crazy and make all sorts of uh, crazy things in there. And so uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to cover. Like I said, very short stream. I just thought people would find that valuable for creating uh, custom footprints um, for parts that you may be working on in KiCad. So uh, that's going to do it. Thanks so much for watching. Next time, I promise, I promise next time we're going to work on the layout here. We're going to move all this stuff around like we had talked about in a previous stream and hopefully really soon get to trace layout and stuff so we can get some of these boards ordered so we can see if any of this stuff works from the schematic that we've created. So um, that's going to do it. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time.